further we got into trying to get background checks um, implemented in churches and in schools, the more we heard about the good old boy system. Well, I don't need to background check them. I've known them my whole life. And right. that's so-and-so's nephew. And that's, so I'm telling you, it's the most frustrating mentality or God will protect us. Well, right. Come on. We have a responsibility right. to do everything within our power to make sure that the people that we have responsibility to protect are protected. How often when you run background checks for churches and stuff like that, how often do you come up with a red flag and say, no, you shouldn't let this person work in the children's ministry or right. whatever? There's a there's many, and I'll, I'll tell you, each individual entity, whether it's like athletic association or church or school, they should have a set of parameters. Like They should know before we run those background checks, if A, B, C, or D comes up, it's going to disqualify you from serving. So you might want to tell us that. now if it's going to come up, exactly. number one. And so then we run it, and um, if there are issues that come up that are contrary to the parameters that they've set, like obviously uh, any sexual misconduct or, or uh, sexual convictions of any kind, usually you're barred from serving anywhere. Felonies will typically keep you from working or serving. Right. Um, so you just kind of have to know Where you're, where you're going to draw the line yeah, and where you're going to draw the line. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a standard for everyone. Nobody's different. The good old boy system is, you can't do that. My, my husband was in children's ministry for years. Um, and that was always our biggest fear that someone would sneak in and we wouldn't catch something. And then everybody's liable. And not only that, but somebody's lives are ruined. Right. So for future or want to be mystery writers out there or people that want to write a story that has a private investigator in it. What do you see on TV or in films or reading books about them that isn't correct or that you wish people would portray? Is there anything? I think there definitely is. I would like to see um, I guess a private investigator being portrayed that he's not just doing, he or she is not just doing the work for the money or for the adrenaline rush. You know, it's right. not just a fix or right. um, that it's actually to help. You know, it's to make a situation better, whatever that situation is. And that they would show the human aspect of it, not only what the PIs go through, because we, every case is very personal to us and certainly the outcome and, and their well being afterwards. I mean, consider all of it but any any good PI should you know right you should consider but all even of like it. the heart behind like you were saying a lot of what you do is counseling people mm -hmm. and walking them through you know, I don't think I've ever seen that yeah. in a people think they're alone you know and your spouse cheats on you you don't take into and you're not going to go tell everybody yeah that they're I mean that's happening all around you every day and just to know that you're not alone and and what you're feeling is not um, unusual and that you need help processing all of right. this and here are some avenues to get that help. But then also to be able to profile the individual to help them better predict what they're gonna do. Okay, we can tell you based on what you've said to us, you can expect A, B, and C, and maybe even D to happen. So right. we can put in some security measures for them so if things do go, out into left field, we know they're going to be safe. Right. Oh, okay. You know, we don't just leave a situation because um, sometimes in most of those cases we're, we're hiding digital recorders that are voice activated so that the spouses can pick up conversations, conversations. or we're um, helping them look at other information that's going to give them what they, give them answers, right? Right. So you're putting them in harm's way because once you take a person who wants that kind of lifestyle and you threaten to take it away from them, they get pissed. Oh, 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 yes. And they get mean and ugly and sometimes violent. And a lot of times these women are already very afraid of these men and they have been abusive and so, and very controlling, you know, because a lot of times the women don't work. Right. Their husband's been their sole source. They've been of isolated. Very isolated. Yeah. So it's just sad. 
Um, so, you know, I think you have to take into account all of it, you know, what the people that are, that I'm, I always like to tell people, don't think of us as PIs, just think of us as new friends with an exceptional skill set. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, because we never saw Charlie's Angels counseling anybody about. No, they're just too busy. No, they're, they're too, too busy. Cute. Maybe, maybe Charlie did all that behind the scenes. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Chuck. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What is your favorite? Oh well, we're gonna have to go up and flip it around. Your favorite part of the job? My favorite part of the job. I love those aha moments when you can actually get answers for people because not having the answers for anybody who's suffered with not knowing whatever it is, when you're able to give them that information and fill in those pieces of the story, the relief and the closure and just the Right. It's just tears, you know, oh, just yeah. like it's over. I can move forward now. Just helping them get to that next place and get on to start living a healthier, better, well-informed life. Because so many people, they feel like, I don't know, they, they deserve the bad things that have happened to them. Or um, the life isn't going to get any better. Or somehow I did something that made this individual, you know, Do this. cheat on yeah. me a million times. And, you know, it's never that person so to be able to love on somebody and tell them they're beautiful and they don't deserve it and you know I can tell you that we've watched him for a while now he's, he's a douchebag yeah you're good yeah, you yeah know, you'll be happy to get rid of him and yeah your God's got better things for you you're gonna be on to you know much better things right let this go it's gonna be harder before it gets easier because now you've got the truth and you've got to deal with it right Ugh. and it's just hard god there is so much ministry in that there is and just to let people hang out or try to deal with that and process it on their own to me is just cruel i couldn't do it that's just right. not the way god made me and well, that big blessing here that's not the way he made my husband either so right. we both really have that same heart and desire to see people through every part of it it is hard it is a full I mean on TV movies it ends when they catch the bad guy or when right. they get the proof but in reality the real story probably begins at that moment because now you've got the aftermath right of what all that's causing that's right and we've made some really good friends you know I say really good friends but friendships that'll last a lifetime through people that we've helped and, right uh, the ones, I, I should say, that haven't stuck, they didn't really want help. I mean, we've had a couple of cases and really only one that comes to mind where she knew him. He cheated on her a number of times. She was just mad. She right. just wanted proof of the current affair. Right. And when she got it, I mean, that's really all she wanted. And She, she wanted to change anything. Not a thing. Stayed in that same toxic situation and um, probably hired a, another PI the next time he cheated on her. I mean, right. it's just the way some people live. Drama to drama. Mm -hmm. But I think some people are addicted to the drama. They are. Yeah. And I and I will say this too, you know, being a Christian private investigating company, I think sets us apart because the Lord established it. You know, right. he's the one that put that desire and that calling on our lives. And I will say too that he the most of the clients that we work with in those kinds of situations are believers. And so mm -hmm. man, night and day, night and day. And you've got somebody who's, even though they're broken and hurting, they're they've got some faith, right? And some faith, right? Yep. We'll get you through an awful lot. 